It's your boy Nguyen in the house back with another bang on video where ladies and gentlemen Mikel Arteta has opened up about his ambition for this season up with Arsenal he says the ambition in this period as I've said before is to be a better team than we were before in that moment we were on a really good run before we stopped for the coronavirus I want to go day by day with this team and game after game be competitive in every game and go to any stadium and try to win this has to be us that's the way i feel and the way i believe is the best way to approach every single game i i, I this is what i want to hear from my gaffer i'm really stoked to to see what he's uh, what he has up his sleeve against his master when he plays against manchester city well moving on fifa confirmed the transfer window can open before end of the season FIFA have confirmed they will allow leagues to open their transfer windows prior to the conclusion of their current seasons a FIFA statement read in order to give priority to clubs to complete their 2019-2020 season with their original squad provide flexibility and allow member associations to plan properly their football calendar those associations following a dual year calendar are permitted to commence the first registration period for the 2020-2021 season prior to the completion of 2019 and 2020 season subject to certain conditions speaking last month premier league chief executive richard master seemed adamant that the window in england would not be open before the delayed 2019 2020 campaign had finished but the transfer window will open after the end of the season it's just a question of how long it goes on for he said but right now it's a whole different scenario well moving on jude bellingham finally has made his choice well it looks like he has chosen borussia dortmund christian fock has also insists birmingham city star jude bellingham who has been heavily linked with the move to manchester united is on his way to borussia dortmund the 16 year old is in high demand after breaking through the ranks at birmingham and fock believes the youngster may follow jaden sancho's example by moving abroad he says i think the away is a big advertisement for the bundesliga for english talents sancho wouldn't have got this chance at city as quickly pep guardiola apparently even spoke to the bosses of bayern saying that sancho was difficult nevertheless bayern still wanted sancho sancho decided against a top club bayern which has experienced stars similar to city and co in england the strong clubs in the bundesliga behind bayern offer talented english players a chance to play even internationally bellingham will therefore also go to dortmund not united you will see our information is that he has chosen borussia dortmund well arsenal were also behind this youngster so let's see what happens but moving on tottenham and everton are both interested in signing Chelsea center back Kurt Zuma this summer Arsenal also were also linked with Kurt Zuma as well but the Blues are reportedly open to selling the defender despite the fact that he's been a prominent figure in Frank Lampard's backline featuring 33 times this season across all competition Mourinho is reportedly a big fan of the Frenchman who he managed during his time with Chelsea the Portuguese is said to have kept in contact with Zuma since his departure perhaps giving Tottenham an edge in the race Thomas Partey's environment is doing little to dismiss news about the player's departure but until the end of the season Thomas will be 100% focused on Atletico de Madrid only but yes uh, I mean the whole uh, scenario is parents his friends his uh, teammates his Ghanian teammates every single one of them is hinting for him to make the next step well moving on well this is what uh, um, Gabriel Martinelli posted on the social media well he's already eating uh, Brazilian superfood that is acai berry so i think it's really great to see him i think he'll just kill it against manchester city but prior, pr- but the only reason would be that he should start we'll move it on spurs midfielder dele ali has been suspended for one month ma- for one match over posting mocking coronavirus well the fa has de- defined dele ali 50000 pounds and banned him from playing the match against manchester united due to a video he posted mocking the coronavirus outbreak he will also have to take a face to face education course well moving on arsenal are keen for hector bellerin to sign an extension on his current contract which runs until the summer of 2023 but bellerin is in no rush to make any immediate decisions which has opened the door for inter milan to declare their interest in him Well, Mikel Arteta on planning for the next season. He says we don't know what will happen with the transfer window at the moment. Pre-season looks like we are not going to be able to go anywhere, so we'll have to have those things in consideration. Things aren't clear. There are a lot of uncertainties. With the players, the most important is their mental health. That's vital. They have their routines and they are used to being around people. I have spent a lot of time trying to get to know them better and treat them individually and make sure they are getting looked after. Well. 
talking about Bayer Leno, ladies and gentlemen, he says, I hope we can get into Europe. We're not ruling out the Champions League places because we might get it with just fifth place given Manchester City's possible ban. We were in decent form before the break. I just hope we can get back to that when we return. Thierry Henry, ladies and gentlemen, has opened, about, opened up about his relationship with Arsene Wenger. He says, he was like a father figure for me. So as you can imagine with your dad, you argue, you scream, he punishes you. It's complicated at times. Sometimes it's the best. Sometimes we're best friends. Sometimes we're worst enemies and we argue. But that's what happens when you love someone because you care and that's why you argue. So this is why Thierry Henry and uh, Arsene Wenger had a lot of tiff during uh, their uh, individual stints along with Arsenal and alongside each other. And moving on, did you know Arsenal have £235 million in the bank that can be spent without breaking any financial fair play rules? But the question is, will Arsenal spend that much amount of money or not? Well, moving on, Anthony Taylor has been appointed the referee for Arsenal's game against Manchester City. So it looks like I think we're going to have a lot of problems, but <laughs> moving on. The Premier League will introduce mandatory one-minute drinks breaks in every half when the season resumes next week to ensure players are able to rehydrate from personalized water bottles. Well, moving on. Arteta has spoken about the Arsenal, Arsenal players supporting the Black Lives Matter. He says, everyone collaborated. We created the shirts. It was a really strong message and it is more powerful because it comes from them. They think they have the support. They have to support these types of causes. So he's that's why he's more proud for, of the players. Well, moving on. Santi Cazorla, ladies and gentlemen. He says, the season break has helped me think, listen to my body, but I do not want to preempt you or to speculate too much. I don't know if I will play elsewhere. I want to remain linked to football. I could be a coach, but I see myself more in a sporting director role. Let me know in the comment section if you want Santi Cazorla to come to Arsenal in a sporting director role, but that's not a vacant for right now. Well, moving on. Arsenal and Manchester United have already held initial exploratory talks with Nick Mavromaras, the agent of 20-year-old Jonathan David. No formal offers yet. It could take a bid in excess of 25 million euros to secure his signature for the respective clubs. We'll move it on. Mikel Arteta have defended Arsenal following their 3-2 friendly defeat to Brentford. He says, we're trying different things. We're trying to give minutes in, the, in their legs to all of the players. Obviously, you have to change a lot of players through the games. Getting adapted to playing in an empty stadium as well. Not having that energy from the fans. It was good. We played two friendlies. We are getting a bit of rhythm. We haven't played for a while. We tried We tried to make it as close as possible to a real game. And talking about fitness issue, issues, he says, I think that's a big question mark. We've been trying in big groups just for 10 days. You can play a friendly game. You can play 45 minutes, but it's not the same as Premier League rhythm at all. We will have to see that. I think it will be very difficult to sustain big rhythms for 90 minutes for the first few games at least. Well, moving on. Well, Alan Smith has spoken about that Arteta has to do a lot, a lot of things, a lot of changes at Arsenal. He says he has got a lot of work to do and he has lots of wrongs to put right. It's not easy to take over midstream and you could see certain improvements, a lot, a little more steel to the side, better organizations when they lose the ball. Well, moving on. Well, Tottenham, Manchester United are monitoring Arsenal target Ivan Perisic. Bayern Munich have the option to sign Perisic from Inter Milan for 20 million euros following a successful loan spell in Germany. But Bayern do not want to pay more than 10 million euros and that could complicate things. Inter Milan won 15 million euros for Perisic whose contract expires in 2022. And let's see. Well, moving on. Arsenal are yet to agree a short-term deal with Cedric Soares to see him remain at the club until the end of the prologue Premier League season, although are hopeful of an agreement with the player. Barcelona and Coutinho appointment next week, ladies and gentlemen. Barcelona and Kia Jurapci and we'll talk about the options where when they are, there are 15 days to finish the exercise, June 30th. Arsenal, Tottenham, Chelsea, Leicester and Newcastle have all emerged as future destinations for the player. The meeting will clear speculation and focus on the certainties that the agent has been able to press knowing from the beginning that Coutinho with success at Liverpool excludes any other outcome than returning to the Premier League. Well, not only this, let's talk about certain different things. Well, Mikel Arteta and the players spoke to Prince Harry recently. You can see the video for yourself. <laughs> I just want to say Pierre that obviously I hope you're asked a better next year, Pierre. Well, I've got to put that in then, just in case. I think I'm going to have some words later. Have you 
come across other players um, or other staff members who have, who have had struggles with their mental health? I was playing with some players that had some uh, some difficulties with the, with the mental health. The most important is to be uh, next to them and try to, to speak a lot with them. You have to create a safe environment for them to be able to talk to you directly without feeling judged. I thought uh, I need to be strong and out to be resilient. Nowadays, there are more mechanisms as ever, you know, to, to start a conversation. I'm really pleased that you guys will come back to football soon. And as you can see behind me, I've got I've got the FA Cup. It's going to be named the Heads Up FA Cup, which is great news. So we're going to really use the uh, the final as a moment to promote good positive mental health for everyone. Well, they had a very good conversation, and it was a really funny thing that uh, you know Prince Harry made fun of uh, uh, Michael, uh, I mean uh, Pierre Mkhitaryan joining Aston Villa. Mikel Arteta waved his finger in protest at the attempt, which tickled Pierre, Pierre Matasaker and Hector Bellerin as well. The discussion was in aid of the Heads Up campaign, of which the Royal is a patron. And that means the final of the um, FA Cup will be named as Heads Up FA Cup, talking about the mental health issues in various fields. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes to this platform every single day, twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. Well... I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And don't forget to subscribe. We are very much close in reaching 5,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I think I, I last remember 480 subscribers remaining to reach 5,000. Help us reach there and help us our reach to grow more. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.